Isometric means equal measure. Three adjacent faces on a cube will share a single point, as shown here. Edges converge at one point will appear as 120 degree angles or 30 degrees from the horizon line. So, where's my mouse? So, from the horizon line up here, that's 30 degrees, and then each of these angles right here is 120 degrees. These three edges represent height, width, and depth. So, in this direction, we have width, in this direction, from here to here, we have depth or height, and from here to here, we have depth. Um, here we have a view of an isometric block. So the view labels um, represent the surfaces. So on this particular block at this angle, this is the front surface, this is the top, and this is the right. The surface names don't change, but you can change the orientation. So this is still front, this is and this is still top, but now we actually see the left side of the object. For view selection, uh, you the recommendations for how to select the front view are choose the most natural position uh, whichever view shows the best shape and characteristics the longest dimensions are the easiest way to uh, figure out the best view uh, the view with the fewest hidden lines is also recommended so let's look at this object here we have an isometric object and the best front view is going to be this uh, surface right here so this has the best shape description there's no hidden edges if we look at it at this angle in this in this position and the longest dimension is also shown here when you're drawing an isometric there's something called the box method which is a sketching technique used to maintain proportionality it starts with a sketcher envisioning the object contained within an imaginary box sometimes I call this a glass box Good sketching requires a sense of proportion and the ability to estimate size, distance, angles, and other spatial relationships. Here we have that object we just saw a moment ago, and here we have that same object, but it's out of proportion, and things are just kind of funky looking. The following examples show steps used to create isometric schedules of simple geometric objects, including tonal shading techniques. So watch carefully and learn how to draw an isometric sketch. Example 1. Construct the box. Lay out the box that will contain the isometric view using points and construction lines. Here we have the object we're going to draw in isometric. On your isometric sheet, lay out these four points. And then draw construction lines. So you've constructed your box. So pause the video and construct your box and make sure to use very light lines. Step 2. The outside faces. Use points and construction lines to identify corners and edges of object faces that occur on the box's surfaces. So here you see we have some points and the object right here we can see those same points. <coughs> And what you'll do is you'll start drawing construction lines so that you can match the angles that you see here. Let's go back. So here's a point, here's a point. So if you draw a point here and a point here, shown here and here, it's very easy to find the angle of um, this block's angle right here. Then you'll trace the visible edges of parts with thick dark object lines. Step three, the inside faces. In this case, there are no inside faces. And always shade your objects. So decide the light source position and add tonal shading to two of the three faces. A shading option is to use parallel lines drawn closely together on the face this is sort of like blending you can use cross hatching or hatching so on this surface it's a little darker than this surface and we leave the tops not shaded example two so here we have the object we're gonna determine the overall dimensions of the object so 
look at this animation right here. Here's the object, and we just broke it up into the cubes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six cubes. So we know that it's three units wide. So that's one, two, three units wide, two units tall, one, two, and two units deep. One, two. So use points and construction lines to lay out the box. So here we have points. So we draw uh, the glass box for step one, as you see here. Step two, now we are going to use points and construction lines to identify corners and edges of the ob of object faces that occur on the surface of the box. So here we have those lines. We have these lines. We have points. And then lines. Before the sketch becomes too congested with construction lines, start drawing your object lines. So right here we have the object lines of this top surface, the object lines here of this surface, the object lines of this surface. Use points and construction lines to identify the corners. So here we have an edge, and that's going to be this edge. Here we have this edge, which is going to be this edge, and so forth. Step three. Now you're going to trace the trace out the remaining visible edges with object lines. So we have these vertical lines, and then these diagonal lines, and then these diagonal lines. So your object will look like that. Again, decide your light source and add tonal shading. Here we have an example of a close pin drawn in isometric. And it has the angle. We see its front face, its left side, and its top. <clears throat> Go ahead and draw this exact uh, sketch Learn uh, using the skills you just learned. Here's another isometric sketch example of a chair. So for this video lesson, you should have drawn a large clothespin, this object, and let's go backwards. We're going to go to the first object. Da, da, da. So example one, example two, right here, and the clothespin. All right, if you get stuck, um, ask for help and make sure you're using a nice sharp pencil and a ruler.